Mrs. Peru, do you realize you have the facial characteristics of a cornet virtuoso? Well, I don't think I understand you entirely, Professor. If your boy has that same firm chin, those strong cheek muscles, why, George, not that he'd ever really be great, you understand. Well, is that so? In the name of St. Bridget, why not? Well, all the really great cornet players were Irish. Oh, Clark, oh, Mendez, oh, Klein. Oh, but Professor, we are Irish. No. Yes. No. Well, that clinches it. That clinches it, Mrs. Peru. Oh. Thank you, Mrs. Peru. Your boy was born to play the cornet. That'll be $7 earnest money with nothing due till the first installment payable at the opening of band practice. And I'll need the boy's measurements for his band uniform. Oh, his uniform. Certainly, certainly his uniform. And there won't be a penny due till delivery just before the 4th of July which gives him three weeks to enjoy, to anticipate, to imagine. Well, and if you can get him to play in the band, you'll have St. Michael's own way with you. And if anybody can do it, I'll bet you can. Out of the crowd, I'll pick you for a hard carrying, clay pipe smoking, harp playing, shamrock wearing, Terrace Hall minstrel singing Irishman, the governor chappers. Where are you from, you boy? Gary, Indiana. I knew it, Gary. Uh, where'd you say? Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, let me say it once again. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, that's the town that knew me when.